Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. And they had to go on the run. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick and they had to move on. The brothers made it to the home of their ancestors and the old wolves took care of them. Unfortunately, the hunters were hot on their trail and found them. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south. They soon entered the old forest of the giants, where they met a pack of stray dogs who worked in a secret farm. The brothers joined them and worked hard to stock up on gold for the future. They were happy to find others like them, and everybody loved the little wolf, who was growing up fast. His power was growing too. The little wolf was more and more confident and independent. The big brother hooked up with a cool she-dog. <sighs> they had their own adventures. Suddenly, the mean farmers who owned the land tried to hurt the brothers. The little cub was injured. He transformed into a super wolf and destroyed everything. The big brother was badly wounded. And worse, he didn't know where the little cub was. Hey, Sean. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It was a bad idea. Daniel. No way. It's all good. Wish I listened when he tried to stop me from going with Finn. I was too pissed. <sighs> it's okay, dude. You're my brother. And that's all that counts. So, why don't you come and get me? I'm alone, Sean. I don't know what to do. I'm scared. Don't get so close to that edge. Please, come and get me. Yes. I swear. Uh, stop!
Fuck. Daniel. I keep having these nightmares since I came out of the coma. Ugh, can't even focus on the page. This sucks ass, man. So hard to focus. <sighs> Gotta practice way more. Not giving up. <sighs> I guess that's an okay start. But I can keep going. I wish I could find a highway to freedom. This must be my punishment. Yay! Stupid reality shows. Can't catch shit. Zero depth perception. Goodbye, sports. Yeah. Thanks for the card, agent. Can't wait to text you. I'm supposed to call the nurse when I'm done eating. Uh, guess I'm done. I miss Cass so much. Wish I could hold her. This day feels like every other day, just like prison. Yo, 
afternoon checkup. Sure. <laughs> Good day, sunshine. Hey, Joey. Hey, man. That looks like it might have been food. Hard to tell. Ha ha. Never heard that before. Oh, somebody is in a bad mood. Sorry, Joey. Not feeling it today. Mm, I don't blame you. But maybe I got something to cheer you up. Pecans and chocolate? Uh-oh. There's that smile. <sighs> Thanks, Joey. So how you feeling today? Any headaches? Socket pain? <sighs> no. It's all good. Well, this is your final test before, mm, you know, before they check you out. Check me out to Juvie. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's see. You know the drill. Don't blink and just stare at the light. Yes, nice retina response. Okay. Now, try to follow the light as well as you can. Come on, Sean. You've been there before. Good, good. Keep going. Straining too hard? Headache? <sighs> nah. I just I can't really focus today. Sorry. Remember, to see objects on your left side, you gotta turn your head more now. Yes. Looking good, Sean. Now try to align your pen with mine. I'll try. No rush. This is tough. Your depth perception will always be affected, so you gotta try harder. <sighs> Shit. Yeah, I know. It's hard. <sighs> Come on. Yeah, that's enough. Too much stress on you and your eye. But remember, your depth perception will always be affected. Hmm. Here, read this. Patient cleared. Send him right to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. I always hated that game. You can try, but you can't rig the exam, Sean. <sighs> it's time we release you. Sorry. Your vision has improved a lot. Now you don't really have severe side effects anymore. Yeah. That's just great. I do have to tell them the truth. But first... Let's clean this dressing. Hey, sure hope you're watching the door like your phone. Oh, come on. <sighs> you ain't going nowhere. Great. All I do is watch him. Yes, true. Your job. Do you mind if we talk alone? Mind if I finish with my patient? He looks good for now, right? Just come back when I'm finished with him. Sure. I'll swing by later, Sean. Stay cool. So, how are you feeling today, Mr. Diaz? Amazing. Did you find Daniel? I want to... Go over this again. What? I've been telling the same fucking story for three weeks. How much longer? Until it makes sense. Until you get it right. So, silence isn't gonna help you now. Listen close, Sean. Tomorrow you're going to Jolina Shore and you'll be arraigned in court for the murder of a Seattle police officer. You might spend the rest of your life in prison or you can talk to me. I didn't kill anyone. The end. So, who did? You do know. It's just, I can't. 
Was Daniel involved? Is that why you can't talk? No, no way. And you're absolutely sure your dad didn't go after the officer? Yeah, he came outside, then he was killed. That's what he did. Just guilty of being, who knows. I hear you, but you're sure you didn't get upset and go after the officer? It happens. Jesus, no. Look at me. Okay, let's just jump ahead. Tell me what happened in that farm in Humboldt. The place looks like a tornado wiped it out. I've told you so many times. I have no clue why the place was trashed. I passed out. Plus three seriously wounded, along with you. And a missing child. Nobody's statement matches with each other. Sean, throw me a bone here. Can't you see I want to help? So you haven't found my brother? We might have some leads. You can help by telling me the truth. <sighs> okay. Fuck. The robbery. Whose idea was it? His? Or yours? Huh? Finn. It was his idea to rip off Mero. Did he force you to help? Or did you go along with it? He lied. I didn't want to help. But he got Daniel involved. I swear. Swear I didn't think anything like this was going to happen. Nobody does, Sean. Until it's too late. Yeah. Now I know. And what about Cassidy? She planned all this with Finn? She was against this stupid plan. She had nothing to do with it. Your friends are learning the hard way. I didn't want any of this shit. Now I gotta live with it. You're not alone, Sean. There are people that want to help. By the way, we contacted your grandparents in Beaver Creek. They can visit you after you're transferred. Might be a while, but you do have a support group. I guess your grandpa can walk now after his surgery. We couldn't track down your mother, though. Sorry. Good. What about Daniel? You said you had leads. I said might. Uh, hold on. I gotta take this call. Sorry, Finn. Hi. That's just... Oh. She didn't want anything to do with this. Well, if she said enough, then enough. You know the rules, Sean. Wonder what Meryl told the cops about the robbery. I'm sorry, okay? Sorry, Hannah. Hope the cops didn't mess with Penny. Prison would fuck him up. Sorry about that. Okay. So what's going on with Daniel? You really have leads? Yes, we do. That's our job. The Bureau put his profile out over four states. So we are on the case. For how long? It's been over two months. How are you going to find him? We have a lot of people looking for your brother. Trust me. We want to find him too. Yeah, yeah. So you can lock him up too, right? Whatever. Anyway, thanks for talking to me. 
I'll be back tomorrow to take you to Jolina Shore. Look out. I have to guard the guard now. <laughs> Love it. Sit down so we can get this show going. So, how did your interview with Scully go? You mean interrogation? Who knows? Maybe Detective Flores wants to help. Maybe not. I just can't trust her. After what you and your brother went through, I don't blame you. Oh, this shit is all wrong, man. You've been out of the garden for three weeks now. We talk every day. I can see that you're a good person. Thanks, Joey. Want to tell that to the judges? I'm just saying, you don't deserve this. Now let's check this out. The healing is coming along nice. Just gotta keep it clean for the next week or so. Simple. That's great. Seen the shrink this morning? What did she say? Nothing I wanna hear. This will take time and rehab, Sean. You have to process first. Ugh. I can tell myself that shit. Clearly, I'm no therapist, but I've nursed patients with your injury. They all turned their anger into energy. You will too. <laughs> Plus, the glass eye tech is pretty cool now. <laughs> Things change, huh? I hear you. I'm trying to be positive. But it's so hard. I know. I do. But I promise there's a treat coming your way. Now as for your wound, this is the last time you hear this from me. You have to clean it with sterile gauze and saline solution. Coat the area using the swab and cream. Then wrap it up with clean dressing. And you're the shit. Remember, you gotta do this. Four times a day. I won't forget. I'm sorry about everything, Sean. Wish I could have done more. Dude, you saved my ass here. You're the only one I trust. It really helped. Cool. I'm glad when I can make a ch... Oh, shit. Ah, emergency. I'm out. And no smoke break. Let's say our goodbye tomorrow. Oh, Sean, check out that towel. Got your name all over it. Catch you later. Joey, you are her boss. Salvation lies ahead. Yay. Stupid reality shows. Joey's the only one who helped me get through this shit. Hmm. Instructions for getting out of here. <sighs> they kept me locked in for two months. Except for a daily exercise break. 
You're here just for me. I'm flattered. Maybe I should have let Daniel help Steven. So glad Chris is okay. That kid is a real superhero on his own. Yep. My art is trash now. What? Wow. Haven't seen you in a long time. I know I fucked Daniel over. Again. And now he's gone. Where would he hide out? A ten-year-old by himself? Out there? He might go back to Seattle. But too far. Nowhere to go. If he tried to hook up with Claire and Steven, they would have definitely told me. Or the cops. Wait, what's that? Super Wolf? Huh? Does that mean, it means that Daniel Daniel's with Jacob somewhere. He's safe. I could see him again. All I got at Haven Point, Nevada. I gotta get to him. I gotta find a way to escape tonight. Okay, time to clear off now. This whole hospital is so quiet. 
So don't make any noise. And find a way to get the hell out of here. I should close these. So nobody sees me sleepwalking away. Can I have some privacy, please? Maybe I could, uh, rig a decoy Sean in the bed. That looks so fake, but it might work for a second. Nada. There must be a way to leave this room without alerting anyone. Ah, need a superhero to open that shit. Hope my last view of this world isn't this window. One stupid car. And I'm out of here. It's dead tonight. Works for me. I could climb down the side of the building or die trying. <sighs> Can't open that window with my bare hands. Maybe, wish I could just walk out. I'm pretty sure the scaffolding leads into this room. My backpack has got to be somewhere around here. Sweet dreams, my friend. Maybe I can trick him. Say I need an aspirin or something. Hey, sir, hello. Jesus, can't even take a nap, okay? What's wrong now? Head hurts, I need aspirin. That's a sad story, but I'm not a pharmacy, kid. I could trick him into coming in here and then knock him out. Yeah, that metal bar isn't going anywhere. This one isn't screwed in. I could pull it off, but it's gonna be loud. The windows are secured. But who knows? <sighs> Let's do it. <clears throat> A 
Hey, what the hell are you doing in there? Hey, hello? I need help. Please. What? What's the matter, kid? Huh? My head. It's killing me. I need help. Hold on. You're gonna need help if you're fucking with me. That's Finn. No way. What is he doing here?
guess this is my room for the night. Shit. I will never hold until Haven Point. <sighs> what a mess. <sighs> Flotis can now add Grand Theft Auto to my file. Guess I'm kind of lucky I stole a smoker's car. She seems nice. Sorry I stole your car, guys. Shit. Guess I fucked up her day pretty bad. I don't even know how long I should keep on using this for. All right. Careful. should have listened to Joey. This is a mess. Okay. Haven Point is straight ahead. Just a few more hours drive. Still with me, Sean? <laughs> yeah. Just... zoning out. Just don't do that when you're driving, my son. So, uh, what's the verdict on the new car? I know it's not a new board, but it's got Ford Hot Wheels. Thanks for finishing it, Dad. A perfect reward for your excellent report card. <laughs> I'm proud, Sean. That makes up for when you bullshit me about needing cash. And I'll try to be cool. No dad jokes, huh? I hope you're not too bummed out to go on a big road trip with your lovely papito, huh? <laughs> oh, please. You're the coolest dad. How could I be bummed? Excuse me. <laughs> Where's my regular, emotionless son? <laughs> I appreciate it. Think we can hang out for five days without killing each other? Hell yeah. Haven't done that since I was a kid. Miss it. So do I. Been too long since we went padre hijo against the road. <laughs> Way too long. I love road trips. Good to hear. 
By the way, boy talk. What's going on with that gin, huh? <laughs> You know, going okay, I guess. That was like pulling teeth. Well, I've got a week to find out the truth. It's just, I don't get to see her too much. Kind of miss her. Oh, you're hooked, my son. Don't worry. This is how it goes. Ah, could that be Daniel? Hola. Hello. Everything okay, Lila? Oh, Daniel better not be giving you any sass. <laughs> nah, he's an angel. We went to the swing pool, and now we're making popcorn for movies. <laughs> He's driving real slow and safe, like a grandma. Thanks for checking in. We'll buzz you when we hit the motel. Lila, you ready? Sounds good. And Sean? Jen told me to say hi. Girl <laughs> cannot wait to see you again. Jen says hi. Sounds pretty good, Sean. You think? Maybe. Seriously, though, how are you really doing? It's too bit, but I miss you. I miss you too, my son. But this is all part of growing up. I know. I don't like it. I have total faith in you, Sean. You're a Diaz. You were born to roam and find your way home. God. I love you, Dad. Wish I would have told you more. You didn't have to tell me. You showed me. Oh. By the way, she... oh. Hey, wake up! Huh? Huh? What? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing on our property? Huh? Oh, man, I crashed hard. Oh, yeah? Come on out, boy. Who the fuck is that? A fucking kid. Get out! Look, I'm leaving, okay? Uh, no you ain't. Step out, or I'll call the cops. You don't want that, boy. No need to. I I'm leaving. Now. You deaf? I said, out! We don't need cops to deal with assholes like you anyway. Listen, I don't want any trouble. Too late for that, boy. So tell us what the fuck you're doing on our land. I just... got lost, man. I wasn't sure where I was, so... I pulled over. I swear. I had no idea this was your property. There's a fucking sign? Didn't you see it? I was too exhausted. I guess I missed it. He's just a kid, and he's hurt. Look. Yeah? What happened to your eye? I got into an accident. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. Move it. Huh. Please. I just want to go. Oh, ho. what's this? Drugs? Yeah, for my eye. Oh yeah. Did you steal them? Like this car? Listen, it's not what you think. Oh, I think it is. You ain't the first beaner we caught. Take his backpack. Dude, come on. Get it! Let's see what he's holding. So? Nothing good. Any money? Fucking toys, man. You still play with toys? Seriously? It belongs to my brother! 
Leave it alone! Whoa! You did not. That's it, boy. Get up. Up! Okay, Chad. We fucked with him. Let him go. He's got nothing. Hey. Hold on a sec, Mike. You speak Spanish, Pedro? Huh? What? 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 Hablas Espanol. Chad. So, Professor, how do you say, I'm a dirty thief? Don't do this. Oh, you don't want to share your language? <laughs> okay. Maybe you know this one. Uh... I'm a dirty thief with one eye. <laughs> Soy un ladrón y chinga tu madre. Uh, wait, madre? Uh... What did you really say, asshole? Huh? All I want to do is learn Espanol. <laughs> Might be our official language someday, right? See, si, senor? So, one more lesson. How do you say, this is not my country? I don't know. Told you. Well, that's the only one you should know, boy. Learn it. Look, Chad, it's gonna rain. Let's go before we get soaked. Hold on. This little thief is fucking with me. You're really pissing me off, you know that? But I'm willing to give you one last chance to make things right. Sing something. What? Just pass the audition and you're free. We'll be very upset if you refuse. Estrechita, ¿dónde estás? Me pregunto qué serás en el cielo y en el mar. Un diamante de Jeez, enough! Let the boy finish his song. Go on. Go on. Estrechita, ¿dónde estás? Me pregunto qué serás cuando el sol se ha ido ya, cuando nada brilla más. Tú nos muestras tu brillar, brillas, brillas sin parar. Estrellita, ¿dónde estás? Me pregunto, ¿qué serás? Well, damn! I think you just won Mexican Idol. <laughs> Now pick up all your shit and get the fuck out. Don't ever come back. Understand? So the... The Wolf Brothers were split apart. The oldest wolf was badly hurt, but nothing could stop the wolf from following his brother's tracks.
Next billboard. And then I can rest a little, right? Hope I'm not running into a trap or something. Saw a nature show about desert rattlesnakes. So fuck that way. Don't worry about your feet. Just pace yourself. Yes. Shade. Oh, man. My feet are killing me. Feels like hiking in hell. No way I'm gonna die out here. Just keep on walking. Shit. My throat feels like sand. Daniel better be okay. Feels like I haven't seen him in years. Of course I miss everything about him. Even his whining. Yeah, you can't wait to get out on your own. Now you are. And it sucks. Shit. This place is freaking me out. <sighs> so much dust everywhere. <clears throat> Gotta be extra careful with my eye. Hello, fellow traveler. Daniel might dig this. <sighs> 
saw a nature show about desert rattlesnakes. So fuck that way. Shit, there's a truck coming. Whoa. Is he honking at me? He's topping. Uh, okay, uh, be cool. Just uh, see what he wants. Truckers can't be cops, right? Yeah. Just get ready to run if he's a freak. Hey, need a lift? It's too damn hot to be walking. Yeah, thanks. Hold up. Jeez, what the hell happened to you? I ran into a couple of assholes who beat me up for no reason. Uh, I see. Happens a lot around here. Hey, Anton, you there? Everything all right? Yeah, what's up? GPS tells me you parked in the middle of nowhere. Just wanted to know what happened. I, uh... I had to make a shit stop. Over. <laughs> Too much information, but... 10-4. <laughs> you mean number two. <laughs> you owe me a beer for that. Over and out. Don't freak out. I... I wouldn't have picked you up if I cared about that hitchhiking law. Okay. Cool. So, you hungry or what? You look hungry. Oh. No, thanks. I'm cool. <laughs> You're lost, son. What's your destination? Hmm... Haven Point. You've heard of it? Oh yeah. Straight ahead, about an hour.
Take a nap if you want. You don't have to stay awake to be nice. Hey, don't worry, kid. I'm not a fucking weirdo. Just a boring trucker. Last stop, Haven Point. Thank you so much. You just be careful out here. These people are kind of weird. Really? Okay. 10-4, good buddy. Those people are caring Christians, like our grandparents. Wow, forgot about Easter. I completely lost track of time. I think he was trying to tell me something about this place. Not much different than my hipster stickers. People tend to showcase what they love. Wow. Must be a pretty good church to drive all this way. is itchy again. I can't scratch it, though. Wonder how many people come and go through this place. Nevada is like a giant slot machine. But this place seems different. I can't see anything. Guess it's time to go to church. Hmm. Must be more kids here. Huh. Wonder if Daniel made friends. So weird to picture Daniel out here. That's a lot of closed doors and fences for such a small church. I 
I hope Jacob and the others took good care of him. Weird. Looks like our old training range. I can't believe it's been two months since I last saw Daniel. Maybe I can ask a bit more about this place. What kind of life does he have around here? Okay. Where are you, Daniel? I can't see anything. Guess it's time to go to church. Okay now? Is it gone? I... I think. <laughs> Good. Scoot back inside now. Okay, Dad. Uh... Hello there. Is everything all right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, don't worry. You here for the service? Yeah, I I am, but it's my first time. Don't be shy. Everybody's welcome here, no matter who you are or where you're from. In his eyes, we are all equal. Plus, we have a pretty nice spread after the service. Stay as long as you want. Okay, um, thanks. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'm just a vessel for our reverend. Thank her. <laughs> Looks like you're here to see our new miracle, right? Uh, what miracle? Huh. You haven't heard of him? Then I won't spoil it for you. He'll be here any minute now. Just come inside and see for yourself. Praise the Lord. That poor little girl. Her cough sounds... <laughs> yeah. Very humble. That poor little girl. Her cough sounds real bad. Her father was... Oh, feel that cold air. Oh, thank God for AC. Claire had pretty much the same ones. Hmm. Cute. We are surrounded by false. A picnic with Daniel? What's going on? Wonder how donations can pay for all of this. Nice picture. Wonder if they'll let me in. Look at the world. Why do 
Wait. No way. The angel Daniel? Oh, shit. I look like shit. Hope they don't kick me out. Better clean up first, so I don't scare Daniel. that word a lot, but faith is not just a word, my brothers and sisters. Oh no. What is faith? Remember Luke 18, 27, what is impossible for man is possible for God. With that righteous faith comes the salvation of your souls. Can you cross that invisible bridge to salvation? Yes. Oh, yes. Do you want your soul to be saved, brothers and sisters? Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. oh yes, you are not like all these sinners out there. So I never asked the Lord for a sign. Then he gave me one. He spoke to me and told me that I was doing right. And to reward our great faith, the Lord sent me the ultimate gift. Yes, he did. An angel, a child graced with the power of God. Yes. The miracle we have all been praying for, waiting for. Can I get a hallelujah? <laughs> Do you have faith? in his power. Do you have faith in me? Then please, welcome our newest member and our latest miracle, the angel Daniel. Here is Daniel, oh, praise be the Daniel. prophet who was thrown to the lions by false prophets. But God saved Daniel so he could do his work. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Daniel was brought to me to deliver us, praise to guide us from the wilderness oh, to our God. destiny. Now Daniel will reveal the true power of the Lord.
Now we have a voice, a messenger. Our flock keeps growing. I see more and more new faces. But this is only the beginning. You must spread the word. Yes. Bear witness to this miracle. Thank you so much for coming. And God bless all of you. Amen. As our Reverend said, we do appreciate your kind donations. This helps us keep our church and to spread the word of God. Oh yeah, there's only a few tickets left for our picnic raffle next Sunday. Don't miss the child at another miracle. Any questions, please talk to me outside. Bless you for coming today. <laughs> Hi. Oh, uh, hi. I saw you out in that parking lot earlier. <laughs> yep, that was me. I like to be here too. We can see the whole room, and it's where a reverend mother teaches us classes. <coughs> Whoa. You okay? Need some water? Uh, and no, sorry. I'm just kind of sick. Oh, that sucks. Uh, that's too bad. Hey, what happened to your eye? Well, that's a long story. That's okay. My name is Sarah Lee. What's yours? Aw, you must be Jacob's sister. Did you get that letter from Jacob back when he was in California? Yes. <coughs> How did you know he was in California? I was with him. Uh, that's how we met. You are Daniel's brother? Really? He's always talking about you. Hey, uh, not too loud. Yes, I'm Daniel's brother, but I need some help. The Reverend Mother says we always have to help our neighbor. What do you need? What is this place? This is our home. Our church and community. The Reverend Mother says we were all chosen by God. Who is this Reverend? You don't know her? That's our mother, Lisbeth. She was blessed by the hand of God when she was my age. <coughs> she can't ever sin. The Lord guides her. What is Daniel doing here? He's our miracle. And the Lord brought him right to our Reverend Mother. I like him. He's really kind and funny. We play together all the time. So, can you take me to Daniel? Oh, yes. He's gonna be so happy when he sees you. He missed you so much for his birthday. It will be like a late surprise. Daniel, you're the living proof of their faith, and mine. I know you understand. I guess... I mean... Sean? Oh my... Sean! You came back! I knew it! You've grown up, and I know. Do I look older? What? What happened to your eye? Don't worry. It's okay. That happened at the farm? Because of me? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. It's over, Daniel. We just gotta walk on. 
Does it hurt? No. <laughs> Not as much as your haircut. Shut up. It's different. I kind of like it. Sean, I didn't want to leave you there. Nothing I could do. I was so scared. I even thought you were dead. And... It's okay. We're together now. Yes. So, are you gonna stay with us now? Huh? I... We still need to go to Puerto Lobos. But... We don't need to. We have a new home now. Look! One step at a time, Daniel. Give Sean a chance to process this. I'm sure this is all so overwhelming. By the way, my name is Lisbeth Fisher. We all prayed for your safe return. Sean, you must be a believer now in our Lord, too. Mm, kinda. Daniel told me you had faith. That's how you got here. But first, I need Sarah Lee and Daniel to grab the medicine kit. We have to take care of our new guest. This is a place of healing. Aww. Let's do it later. I want to talk to him now. Daniel? Now. Okay, Reverend Mother. Let's go, Daniel. Whoa, whoa. Hold on. Well, Sean, it's a pleasure to meet you. This is a real blessing today. You were away from Daniel for quite a while. I was in a coma. Of course. <laughs> I wasn't judging you. So what is your plan, Sean? This is a blessed family, and it would be good for Daniel to have you by his side. You should know that the Lord has big plans for him. God or you? God, of course. I'm his family. Two young boys are not a family. Mark 3, 25. If a house is divided against itself, that house cannot stand. Daniel sounds more like a prisoner than a guest. It saddens me that you see things that way. After everything I've done for him. I know why you're scared, Sean. That's because your heart's full of sins. I've heard everything about your journey, Sean. And I cannot let a sinner like you into my community. Not until you make penance. What? Are you serious? I'm sorry, my son. I'm not your son. And Daniel isn't gonna be your golden cow. Daniel, come on! Why don't we ask him what he wants to do? Do not touch me! What the fuck? What did you do? Nothing. Enough. You spilled blood in the Lord's home. Sean, what happened? Your brother came in here impure and acting like a criminal. But he can be saved, Daniel. I'm sorry, Sean. She's right. I will pray for you. Then, when you're ready, we can. She's trying to manipulate you. Let me lead you to the one true light that never goes out. I want to be your friend. You're crazy. Let's get out of here, Daniel. Mm. I want to stay. Just go. <laughs> There's your answer, Sean. We're together again. So we can go, right? Come on. Get off me, dude. What? <sighs> Daniel! <coughs> Let me go, asshole! <laughs> Daniel! They're not your family! Stop it! You just need to have faith. We'll be waiting. Daniel! It's okay, Sean! Sean. Daniel! <sighs> there you go. Satisfied? Now don't you ever come back! Kid, don't make me do this. You're not gonna win.
Daniel! Daniel! You're pissing me off. This is private property. I have a legal right to stop any intruders like you. I just want my brother. But he doesn't want you. He was brought here, and this is where he's staying. Next time, I will not hesitate to use this. Now get out of here. Daniel, hey! Daniel! Sean? Karen? You won't get him back like this. Let's go. from uh, Jacob. He said you were missing. And that Daniel needed help. I believed him. Hmm. So you finally decided to check on him. You know, Sean, sooner or later, we're gonna have to talk. Where are we even going? I already have a hotel room. You're gonna need to rest and clean that dressing. Man, didn't clean the pain away, but that felt good. Karen seems to be on the move quite often. Damn, you look bad. Gotta change that dressing soon. Wonder how long Karen has been here. Did she see one of Daniel's kinda pretty? Wonder if she made it. I know I shouldn't peek, but whatever. Glad to know she learned the lesson. Karen did her own road trip to get here. Damn. 
Aaron does like to capture the world around her. So Karen did check it out. Wonder if she saw Daniel in action. <sighs> this country is just way too big. Sorry. I still have no game. And the house always wins. I really should finish reading this someday. Karen was always into low-tech. I even think it's the one she had back then. We've come a long, long way, buddy. Be right back. We'll find out. Be right back. <sighs> we'll find out. This thing is killing my back. I got bruises on my bruises. Huh. This isn't her tablet. Yay. Technology. She came prepared. Reverend Mother doesn't look too humble. Looks like a roach motel. But nobody will find me there. I'm not going out. Better wait for Karen in here. This place is quite remote. <sighs> Good. At least nobody will be looking for me here.
Karen said she left me Jacob's number somewhere. Jeez. It only took Supermom eight years to give a shit. Jacob, it's me, Sean. Sean? No way! I've been waiting to hear from you for months! So you, you found my note in your sketchbook? <sighs> yeah. Where are you? You have to come here, Sean. I know. I'm not far. In a motel. Good. Listen, I, I can't talk right now. I gotta go. Wait! Daniel, how's he doing? Meet me tomorrow afternoon on Brandy Highway. There's a, a, a junction just above Haven Point. There's a, a, a wild mice ranch billboard there. I'll be there at four. Jacob, wait! I can't talk, Sean. Be there tomorrow. Please. Damn. He couldn't really talk. All this is so messed up. Let's just rest while I wait for her. If she comes back. Hey, sorry it took so long. The fucking store was packed. How you feeling? Nothing broken? Alter boys don't fight fair? Yeah. I'm okay. Double cheese, no onion. Right? That'll do. Got you some gauze and uh, antibacteria stuff for your eye. Mm. Hey, don't wolf that down. Or at least take a breath. <sighs> like you care. Sean. I do. <sighs> Come on, Karen. Don't act all hurt. It's too late. Where were you when I broke my leg when I was 13? Not with me. When Daniel got a bad flu a couple years ago, he didn't sleep next to him every night. Where were you? Where were you? Fair enough. So let's talk, because we do have to get your brother out of a cult. I'm listening. How did you two survive alone on the road for that long? We almost didn't. We just... kept moving. And nobody helped you along the way? You know I don't have to answer your questions, right? You're right. So tell me what you want from me, Sean. Nothing, Karen. I mean, what do you want from me? A fucking hug? Hey, I just want you to know what I did. And why. If you care. So... ask me anything. All right. Why did you bail on us? I wasn't meant to be a wife or a mother. I thought I was supposed to. I tried to pretend for many years. But I wasn't happy, and the urge to leave just became unbearable. I had no other choice. Are you serious? You chose this life. You fell in love. You made your own choices, right? 
Making your own choices doesn't mean you can never fool yourself, Sean. After I had Daniel, you were about eight, and Esteban's garage was getting busy. There was so much going on around me, yet somehow I just felt that my own life was just slipping away. It felt like an empty shell. Sean, it was the hardest decision I ever made. I knew I might never see you all again, but I took that responsibility. Did Dad know about all of this? I was honest with your father. We did family therapy, but it wasn't about him. It was me. He was heartbroken for months after you left. Years. I was too. I was in love with your father. He was the best person I ever met. But just not enough for you. Something was missing from the equation, yeah. I was. So what exactly are you doing in Nevada? You live around here? No. I'm uh, way out in Arizona. Sean, I told you. Your friend uh, Jacob wrote my P.O. box and said Daniel was in trouble. That's it. Arizona? Holy shit. It's just lizards and rocks. Guess I found something there. New York didn't really do me good, so... Yeah. Okay. Think I've heard enough. I didn't have a choice, Sean. We only have one life. And I didn't want mine to be spent in regrets. For years, I fooled myself. Thinking I'd find satisfaction into what society expected me to be, and that was my mistake. I hope someday you can understand that. But I never stopped caring about you. For what it's worth, I am sorry for hurting you and Daniel and Esteban. Oh, please. It's too fucking late for that shit. No matter what, you left your own kids and my dad. So don't even... I know it's too late. I just... I want you to know how I feel. Yeah. I still don't care. Jeez. Sean, whatever you want to say to me, this is the time. Let's just get it all out in the open, see what happens. So, did you ever actually miss us? Or Dad? Of course, Sean. I do miss your father. He had such a big heart. He could brighten up a rainy day. That was like his superpower. But above all, I missed watching you grow up. See how you saw the world. I missed sharing these moments with you, Sean. We used to do so much stuff. Like when you taught me to ride because Dad sucked. Or when we went camping near Vancouver. Just me and you. You always loved night skies. I did stargaze a lot when I was in California. Trust me, the further south you go, the better it gets. So... What did you do when you left? Where did you go? I pursued some dreams and failed. Learned the lessons. I guess all this time I tried to find out 
what really matters to Which me. Which doesn't involve a husband and two kids. It does to a lot of people, and I totally respect that. Just not to me. I wasn't good at making plans, which is what most of modern life is about, right? School, job, marriage. Ask my mom and dad. They wanted me to follow their rules, their faith. Oh, and I tried, but I wanted to find my own way, with no security blanket. Family, religion, social norms. It's just all about security, after all. But it all just looked like a sweet golden jail to me. I tried to escape that. Yeah. Hope it was worth it. It was. For now, I've found my place in the world, with like-minded people. I'm at peace with my fuck-ups and my decisions. How do you make peace with bailing on your parents, your husband, and your kids? I know, that's hard to understand. But I think people should know who they are. And not fake it for anybody. I mean, I get you wanted to leave and stuff, okay? But why would you ghost us like that? Not even a fucking birthday card. I just... I thought if I vanished, you would all move on. But I wanted to contact you guys so many times. I almost did. But you wanted a clean break from us. I didn't want to be a part-time, pissed-off mother. Not fair to any of you. I left when Daniel was still very young, so he wouldn't remember me. Cool plan, Mom. You hurt Daniel way worse. He thought you took off because of him. I know. I hope I can make it up to you, Daniel, someday. I can start by getting his ass out of that church, cult, whatever. <laughs> whatever. You sound so... careless. It's like you can't even realize how much pain you've caused. I do care. It's why I'm here. To help you and your brother. If I didn't step up to help him now, I couldn't live with myself. Esteban hated when I smoked. He didn't want me to die an early death. Fuck. Life can be so cynical sometimes. I remember he would smoke sometimes. Long ago. We didn't fight much. But when we did, I would go out on the porch and light up so I could calm down. Esteban would come over and ask for a drag. Now we just look up at the sky and watch the stars. Or the planes. I do miss that. I used to do the same thing with my best friend Lila. Smoking on the porch. Just letting time go. That's when you know someone is good to you. When you can just sit together. <laughs> shut the hell up and watch the universe do its own thing.
We should go back inside. I gotta change this dressing. Okay. Sean, I know I can't change the past. Or what I did. But this is about helping your brother. You gotta trust me this one time. I know. It's still hard. But yes. We have to be a team to rescue Daniel. We can do it. Okay. How? We need to get in touch with this Jacob. He obviously knows a lot more than us about the church. Well... I called him when you were out. We can meet with him tomorrow. Okay, good. I also got these. Just in case. Okay. Better take care of the eye. So... Do you need any help with that? Yes. Thanks. So... You feel like telling me the story here? When we have time. Gotcha. Here, try this on. How do I look? Great. Thank you, Karen. Big day tomorrow, so we should get some rest. Yeah. I'm ready to get Daniel. Sure he's gonna show up? He better. He promised. Well, if he doesn't find us, we'll find him. I can't believe how much crap you guys have been through. Makes me want to punch in the face each and every asshole that got in your way. Yeah. Good thing we got to meet amazing people, too. Life on the road is all about that. The sweet encounters. Hope I can see them again someday. Oh, you will. So tell me about Daniel. What's he like? Well, he's definitely... special. Hope so. He's your brother, right? Heads up. Is that him? Yep. Wait here. Sean! What happened?
What were you thinking, Jake? I didn't know where else to go. Listen, I, I saw Daniel come back to the camp that night. Like he was in shock or something. Then I heard all these sirens and I got scared. I just, I packed a few things. I, I took a blanket from your tent and we, we left together. I also kept the cash you made on the farm. Uh, it's in my car. Oh, so you took my brother and my money. Better me than the cops, don't you think? You have no idea what he looked like when I found him that night, Sean. He was in bad shape, with a gunshot wound, and all by himself. I, I, I couldn't just leave him there. So, you came back here after you escaped, but with a dazed little boy, and everybody was cool with that? Trust me, it was not an easy thing for me to come back. And, yeah, they took us in. That's what they do here. They take people in. Except they didn't want to take me in yesterday. I'm telling you to be careful with the Reverend Mother. She's waited her whole life for somebody like Daniel. The Reverend knows how to manipulate people. She's good at this. He wants to stay with her. Daniel has faith in the Reverend now. Yeah, not afraid of that Lisbeth of yours. I'm getting Daniel out of here. Uh, come on. There's no way they're gonna let you take him away. Well, too bad. We're not gonna ask for their permission. You must be Jacob. I'm Karen. Hi. Okay, I don't know if you want to do this, but I, I have an idea. I think school must be over by now, but Lisbeth will stay at the church with Daniel for his special classes. That'll give us time to sneak into the compound before we get to them. I'll be on the lookout. Keep watch in case it all goes to shit. Sean, stay on the walkie. Sounds like a plan. One more thing. I, uh... We have to get my sister, too. Sarah Lee. Really, Jacob? Come on, man. She's with your parents. I know. Please, listen, Sean. She's not safe here. She's sick. They believe in everything Lisbeth says. And she says she'll cure Sarah with prayers. I know you understand. Right? Damn, Jake. We need his help, too, Sean. Okay, Jake. I'm listening. Lisbeth knows what's wrong with Sarah Lee. We just, we need to find her medical record. I think it's in her home office. Then I'll go get Sarah Lee while you get Daniel. Okay? Fine. Sure. I'm gonna trust you on this, Jacob. All good for you, Karen. What if Daniel won't go with you? He will. I know him. Karen? I'm in place. I can see the whole camp. Let me know if you need anything. Be careful, Sean. Got it. Thanks. We gotta be careful now. If anything happens, let me do the talking, okay? Yeah, of course. Let's get this over with. Okay. Lisbeth's house is right behind the church, so in and out. Okay. And you sure Lisbeth will have those files on your sister? Watch out, Sean. There are people right outside. Oh, shit. How many? Just three. A man with his kid on one side, and a woman alone on the other. Got it. Thanks. 
People aren't supposed to come and go around the church once the service is over. Better to avoid them if we can. Karen, everything all right? Yeah, don't worry about me. I found the best hiding spot. The view is kind of great. Cool. Be careful, though. You never know. Thanks, Sean. I will. So, did you grow up out of here? No. In another community back east. When Elizabeth came out here to start Haven Point, my folks followed her and brought me along. Hmm. Must have been hard on you. Kinda. Eight-year-olds don't want to go to church all day. Oh. Come uh, on. Well, hello, young Hackerman. What are you doing here? Oh, uh, hi. We're just... You know you're not supposed to wander around the church once the service is over, right? Right, I, I, I'm sorry, but we, we were just, uh, well, I, I lost my ring somewhere around here, so we were just looking for it. Yeah? When? I, I didn't see you anywhere at the service. I know, I know. We, we were late, so we just, uh, watched from upstairs. Come on, you don't have to lie. Everybody knows you hate attending services. Uh, well... Uh... Listen, don't hang around here for too long, okay? I'll talk with your father later. Sure. See you. Jeez, what's up with her? She doesn't seem to like you very much. That's because I left the church. She's not the only one that's pissed at me. Sorry to hear that. I can't believe Daniel really lives in this depressing house. Okay. I just, I hope they're not onto us. Let's haul ass. Where are the files? Right there, in her office. Ugh. Of course it's locked. Her open door speech is just another lie. We gotta find a way in. Fuck. Think there's a key somewhere? Maybe she's too cautious not to have a spare set around. Whoa. Damn. This is so artless. Are you okay, Jake? Yeah. Yeah, no. It, it's just so full of memories and stuff. Confide and convince? Fifteen steps to a good speech. <laughs> yeah. Nice read for a saleswoman. Hmm. <laughs> Lizbeth sure likes to be on pictures. Evenings in here must be so much fun. Whoa. This place is worse than army camp. Coaxing lesson one. Get Daniel his favorite cereal. The moat and the bean.
Did she teach Daniel how to play this? Nothing here. Does she even believe in any of this? Mm. <sighs> Nothing interesting. Nice prison view, dude. Does she even believe in any of this? I swear, even her bed looks stern. Yeah, that will definitely explain what's going on with Daniel. Sean. Okay. What the? She's completely obsessed with his power. Don't see anything of interest. Okay. I found a key. Good. Let's try it. She sure likes to gaze at her own success. What a great fucking family portrait. Whoa, they kicked her out of church? Now they're thirsty. Shit. Looks like the Reverend Mother got this letter before Jake. Hey! I found your letter for Jacob. Too bad Lisbeth found it first. She took it from the mail? Damn that woman. Yeah. She checks everything that comes and goes into the community. Is this Daniel's room? Yeah. Man. It's depressing. Well, Lisbeth doesn't believe in material possessions, so... Doesn't mean you need to decorate your house like a prison. This is still better than that ugly white shirt she's making him wear. Is she forcing him to do this? Why is he accepting all that? He looks happy. Fuck. I can't believe I missed it. Happy birthday, Daniel. Oh, shit. People are really all over his power. 
so much for secrecy. No matter what happened, I guess Finn was a real friend to Daniel. The Book of Daniel? So much for a hot dog, man. Huh. <laughs> They're so cute. What is this? Daniel Fisher? Oh no. No, that's total bullshit. And creepy. This is quite the change from Power Bear and friends. <sighs> Locked, of course. Shaped. Maybe it opens the other door. Yes, that's the one. Oh, perfect. Whoa, is this her personal archive or something? Yeah, she keeps track of everything in here. Stuff about my sister must be in this one. Okay, I've got something. Must be what you're looking for. Damn, she has pneumonia? And for what I get, Elizabeth knows damn well she needs medical treatment. That's criminal. She's insane. Look, she has a file on you too. <laughs> you can take a peek and see how she really treats her flock. Man, what's all this? Were you like, sick? Conversion therapy? Do they... Wanted to cure you from being... <sighs> Pretty much. I always showed more interest in boys than girls. <sighs> they thought I was a freak. A sinner. Is that why you... ran away? Yep. <laughs> Took me five years to understand what was up. I was too scared, confused. I really did believe I was a sinner, so I thought I had to atone for my sins. Atone? For what sins? I don't get how they can preach this kind of crap. I mean, you met Finn and everyone. Are they sinners then? Of course not. I just didn't know different, Sean. I believed them. Damn, Jake. After a few years, I was in a really bad place. I, I tried to hurt myself. Elizabeth was very upset. We had a long chat. She told me I should leave. Go see the world and figure things out. I, I don't really get her, Sean. But Elizabeth does believe in all of this stuff. I had no clue about your life here. I'm... I'm sorry, Jake. I'm sorry I brought Daniel here. I was just so blown away when I saw what he could do. It was like a real miracle. 
I thought I'd, I'd found my faith again. Instead, I, I just heard him. Then let's make things right. We just have to get Daniel out of here. I hope so. And I'll get my sister to a hospital. Have her treated. I hope they'll help her. Yeah. Anything would be better than here. Right. I just hope they can still cure her. Sean, are you there? <sighs> What's up? You got company. That thug who works for Elizabeth. A woman just spoke with him. Now he's coming your way. This guy is dangerous, Sean. Trust me. Hey, I have a good plan to get him out of your way. He'll give you more time. Just give me the word. Yeah. See what you can do. I will. Get ready. Sean, we gotta hide. Now. Hurry up. Come on, Sean, we need to hide. Man, if he finds us here, we're screwed. I know you're somewhere in here. And if I find you... Mm. Huh? What? What the fuck is going on? Gotta be Karen. Oh, he's gone. Let's get out of here. Oh, man, that was crazy. <sighs> the fuck? What is it? I think that's the file Nicholas had. Take a look. What? Is she trying to adopt Daniel? Exactly. And she's doing it under the table, of course. Man. Okay. We shouldn't be here. Only random stuff. I can't believe this type of shit still happens today. Oh, shit. Why did Daniel tell her so much? I knew this guy was sketchy, but... Whoa.
can't believe this type of shit still happens today. Is she actually scared of me? Better get Daniel out of here before she gets too much attention. She's running a typed ship here. <sighs> Gotta give her credit for that. Mm, I don't think there's anything worth a look in here. Seriously, how can she ignore that? Fuck. She's done some serious research. And still acts all naive. Look at that. Your mom is hardcore, Sean. Yeah. I guess she is. So we're all good now? I'll go get Sarah Lee while you get Daniel. Then let's meet up at the car, okay? All right. You be careful, okay? You too, Sean. Good luck. Come in, Karen. See anything? No, you're all clear. Awesome. Talk later. Mission accomplished? Yep. Now the hard part. Did you find what Jacob needed? Huh. And a whole lot more. Thanks for the help. That was... pretty sweet. I try. You... did well. Hey, I'm here if you need me, Sean. I know, Karen. Thanks. <laughs> no problem. So you know what you're going to do? No. But let's do it. Oh, Lord. Let your power speak through this young vessel. I am your humble Sean. servant and will obey your this? every command. Speak to me. It's Daniel. Speak. I told you, he's kind of special. Hey. Sean! You came back? And I know. Little cub, come with me, Daniel. We're leaving. I'm sorry, Sean. I can't. She's full of shit, dude. And she's using you. Daniel has made his choice, Sean, that I'm offering you to join us again. Put your faith in me, and you'll be family. Never. So that's your final decision. May the Lord have mercy on your lost soul. 
It's time for you to leave our sanctuary. Right now. Not without my brother. I'm not going anywhere. This is my home. She's my family now. Daniel, listen. She's not your family. Sean, who is she? Our mother. Uh. She came here for you. Oh, praise the Lord. Another miracle at our church. Wonderful. Uh, it's all right, Daniel. Go see her. I mean, she's right there. Don't be afraid. I... Uh, I don't know her. Of course. I know. This is hard for you, my son. Stop calling him that. You're just manipulating him, you sicko. <laughs> That's in the eye of the beholder. But since you are his mother, let me ask you. How could you let your child wander alone in the wilderness? Where were you when Daniel was lost? Where? Listen, Daniel. I came here as soon as I found out you were here on your own. I'm not on my own. Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward from Him. You were blessed with a divine gift. And you cast him out into the world. Who the hell are you? You might have been his mother once, but when you abandoned him, you also gave up your rights. Isn't your God all about forgiveness? You have no idea what the Bible says. How can you pretend to care about these two children? You left them and your husband to seek out your base desires. Daniel, honey, she's trying to trick you. Please, think by yourself. You're smarter than this. Daniel, she's responsible for what happened to your father. You don't know anything. It was an accident. That's what this world is about. Accidents, injustice, pain. I'm just so sorry, Daniel. I know. I know how much I hurt you and your brother by leaving. I know that's not enough, but... I hope we can talk about this together. That's what I've been trying to tell your brother, and I'm so glad he listened. You gotta trust us. She's using you for her selfish desires. Daniel. This time, the choice is yours. Are you going to believe her? Or me? I... Uh, I... That's right. You can't tempt Daniel from this garden. He'll stay with us, his true family. And we'll never leave him. Go to hell. Come on, Daniel. No! Stop! Oh! Reverend, are you okay? Nicholas, they're, they're heretics sent to desecrate our, our church. Okay, what now? Don't you understand? This is over, Sean. You have to talk to him. You can convince him, Sean. I won't leave you, Daniel. Not here. Don't be so stubborn, Sean. Your brother chose his path. Your friend, Sarah Lee? She's very sick, and Lisbeth won't take her to a doctor. What? She wouldn't do this that. This is pointless. Daniel knows who to trust. Don't listen to her religious bullshit. You need to have faith in yourself, not in her. But you said heaven and God existed. Why are you lying? You're right. He's wicked, unfaithful. She's doing paperwork to adopt you and change your last name, Inano. Dad's name. Are you okay with that? What? I... No, 
I didn't know. Is that why that card said Daniel Fisher? Of course not. He's making everything up. Don't believe his lies, Daniel. What do you think Dad would say if he saw us right now? He wanted us to stick together. I don't know. I want you to stay. But you're not ready, Sean. See what you have done. Hey, Inano. Back off. No one is gonna keep me away from you. I said stop! <sighs> Don't. I came all this way for you, and nobody will stop me. I'll even cross hell or whatever if I need- <sighs> Sean! He must learn. Listen. I did my best job to be a good brother. And I know I probably failed. I took you for granted. I put you in danger. And I'm sorry. Sure. Don't listen to him. He left you just like that harlot did. Shut him up. He can hit me as much as he wants. I won't give up on you. Don't hit him. <clears throat> Don't let them do that, Daniel. <sighs> If I could go back in time, I would. We'd be in our living room in Seattle. That would get us pizza and snacks, then pick the movie because we would always fight about it. And he always picked your movie. But I can't do that. All I can do now is fight. Quiet! What are you waiting for? We're the best team in Anno. Stop so it! So we have to keep going no. forward. What are You're you gonna doing? kill him? Please! He's my brother! You can burn down our church, but not our faith! Daniel knows you're telling the truth. Don't give up. Nothing, nothing is gonna stop me, Daniel. We're brothers. I know. Dad always said. Our blood link was the most important thing. You know uh, Please! Uh, Stop! Uh, Leave him uh, alone! Daniel, listen to him! I won't stop! No matter what she does! I'll come right back! Again! And again! I love you, Daniel. I do too. Shut him up! Now! Don't move! Just stop! If you want to kill me, then do it! I'm not afraid. Do it! Shoot! Don't! Go ahead. What? Shoot me in the face. And live with me. Now! Daniel! Sean! I'm sorry. Sorry. I was so confused. I thought she was someone else. I'm sorry. Sean. We need to get out of here. Now. Oh no. No. You started this fire. You will all burn in this hell. Move. Let us go. Move it! You won't leave this place. Not with me alive. Ah. 
I said move! Or I will hurt you. Sean, foolish child. You can't threaten me with death. I embrace it. I know what awaits me. Open the door, Inan. Daniel, after all I did for you, you can still repent. I don't believe you anymore! Ugh.
And this is it. We made it, Daniel. What do we do now? Make our way across. You ready? Yeah. I think. <laughs>